And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Abington Avon High School TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH coverage of IHSA Class 1A Girls High School Basketball Sectional Action. Live from the home of the Tornadoes, I'm Dwayne Hewlett. John Reynolds is alongside. John's going to be doing play-by-play -play tonight for this second game. The winner of this game going to be playing the Brown County Hornets, who got a 47-35 win over Elmwood in the opening contest of the night. A minute 15 on the clock, and they're just about ready to go here as we get ready for the starting lineups. And we'll talk a little bit about this as we move along, John, but injuries have struck at the most inopportune time for the Ducks. A couple torn ACLs, according to our friend B.J. Stone. As, uh, he's down the way doing the game tonight and, and uh, told me that there's a a few names you won't see tonight for the Ducks. Yeah, definitely not the time to get hurt if you're a Duck or a Bravette for Anawan, so. Claire Bella Vandorf. Number two, Kaylee Silas. Elena Emanuel. Number 20, Jaden Wise. And number 23, Olivia Goodley, starting for Anawan, the Bravettes. And for the Havana Ducks, who have a very large contingent of fans in the house tonight. Jennifer Bonnet, number four, one of the starters. Josie Hughes, number five, gets a little pat down. They all clear. Taryn Wickman, that's probably the name you're going to hear most tonight out of John's mouth. She's one of the best players in the area. Number 30, Hannah Hodgson. And number 32, Jalen Sarns, the starters. Names you're going to miss tonight. Number 22, Katie Robinson, tore an ACL, I'm told, last week. And Angel Clear, one of their tall post players, having the same issue with a knee last week or the week before as well. So tough time to lose a couple of your key components, John, as we get ready to go for sectional semifinal number two tonight. Yeah, no doubt you don't want to lose, especially a big down low and, and and some others along the way. But we'll see how Havana is able to counter that as the Anawan wins the tip, and it'll be in the hands of number 23, Olivia Goodley. Swing it back up top with... Manuel or Manuel inside and there's a foul early. Foul's going to be called on Josie Hughes. It'll be her first, team's first. So an early foul here as we did not see many fouls early on. I think it was at the two-minute mark of the first quarter of the last game, so an early foul here to start. I screwed up and forgot to change the scoreboard. Why didn't you remind me of that? <laughs> I was going to say something, but I wasn't sure. Josie, Josie Hughes. Hughes. Gets the bucket. I thought you were looking at me and not looking over there. Sorry about that. It's all right. Josie Hughes gets the first points of the night. 2 nothing Havana. Anawan looks to respond. Good on the ball defense. There we go. Two similar color schools here. Got the maroon for Anawan and the white and maroon for the Ducks. Yeah. Our live chat is open. Hop in there and let us know where you're watching from and who you're cheering for. Ned Eckert from Dallas City, Durham area. Watching? Who, who made that bucket? Oh, number 20. Number 20, Jaden Wise. Wise with the and bucket. A steal on the far side. Number 23, Goodley. Swing it back up to Wise. And here come the Bravettes of Anawan. Silas, deep three from Clarabella, miss. But an offensive board to the Bravettes is no good. And it's Taryn Wickman to bring down the board. Hughes finds the easy bucket for number 30. Sarns with the bucket. Sarns. Sarns. Yep. No, it was Hodgson's, excuse me. Yes, Hodgson. I thought it was number 32 they scored it, but it was actually well, that 30. that would make two of us. I was thinking the same thing. A big student section for Havana as well tonight. So we saw a big one with Brown County earlier on. 
Clarabella on the dribble drive, lays it up, and almost laid it in. Just didn't get the roll of the basketball. And it's Josie Hughes with it. Get it to Taryn Wickman on the dribble drive. She'll lay it up and misses the shot. Rebound to the Bravettes. Wide open is number two. Kaylee Silas, who lays it up and in to tie the game at four. And there's that full court press we saw a little bit with Brown County earlier on. Oh, nice look. Hodgson misses. That was good defense coming back, though. Goodly making that Hodgson miss. Clarabella shot no good. Rebound to the Ducks. Taryn Wickman will bring the ball across the timeline. She'll set it up for Havana. 5-10 remaining in the first quarter. Oh, Barely saved it. Be a kickball off number 20. Jaden Wise checking into the ball game is another number 20. This one for Havana. That is going to be Katie Miller. So she'll check in for, I believe, number 30, Hannah Hodgson. I think they're going to look to play about seven players, it sounded like tonight, probably. Yep. Pull up jumper for Miller is good. Ducks by two. Here comes Anawan. Goodley swings to a cutting Clarabella to lay it up. Shot no good, rebound to the Ducks on the floor and off of number 20. Miller had the rebound and fought it away from a Bravette and then lost it out of bounds. Clara, <laughs> yep. Return the favor. Yep, Clarabella was looking for Number three, Manuel, or Manuel in the corner and, and just not on the same page there. There's a good look at Wickman walking the ball up the floor. We do have a couple cameras tonight. There's Sarns putting up a shot at him. Not an easy shot. Sarns made it look easy there. 8-4, Ducks by four. Silas gets the ball tipped out of bounds by number 32, Still getting familiar with the name. Jalen Sarns. They'll stay Anawan basketball. Hodgins checks in, replaces Sarns. Tipped away, stolen by, by the Ducks. Not to Wickman, who's on the floor and ball all over the place. It's Miller to come down with it, and she turns the ball over. Now the ball back on the floor. And Goodley throws Miller to the floor. Foul's going to go on Miller. First foul of the game, actually second foul of the game. Bravettes bring the ball up. Starting to see that press. They're in and out of the wickets of Silas and in the hands of Taron Wickman. Wickman, full head of steam, loses her dribble. Ball tipped away. And it'll be Anawan basketball. 347 remaining in the first quarter. Wickman's going to take a seat. Hodgins comes back in. Clarabella back to Manuel. Back out, Clarabella, deep three, missed it. And stepped out of bounds was number 23. Goodly, Goodly. and Wise both there trying to save it yep. and ran into each other. He's had a foot out of bounds. And then it'll be Havana to bring the ball up and Josie Hughes. Hughes swinging across to Miller, now inside to number four. Jennifer Bonnet. Bonnet. Foul's Ooh. gonna be called though, down low on the Bravettes. Fouls on number three, Elena, Elena Manuel. How are you pronouncing that? I'm gonna go Manuel. 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 Okay. Can you use your Spanish you didn't take in high school? <laughs> my First. Spanish that my aunt did, awesome. First free throw's good for Bonnet. If she's listening, thank you Aunt Christy for doing my Spanish <laughs> for me my junior year high school. Second one's good as well. So 
Bonnet goes two for two free throw line. Shot no good by the Brave Vets, but a second chance shot no good as well. And a rebound to the Ducks. So they're able to escape two shots from the Brave Vets. Vandorf missed that short. She missed the last one short as well. Hughes drives and gets fouled. And Josie Hughes, the sophomore, definitely does not have the size advantage. Who was the foul on? Foul falls on, I believe, 20. Miller. Katie Mil No, not Katie Miller. The. Uh, yeah, they didn't put it on the board. No. Second shot is no good. Ball on the floor. And it'll be Anawan basketball off of a duck hand. Here's one for two from the free throw line. Did you say a duck hand or a duck wing? I wing or? I don't know really. It's <laughs> a good question. Clarabella almost. Our lost. live chat is open. Hop in there and let us know where you're watching from and who you're cheering for. And a turnover. Bryce Paisley says rooting for the Ducks from St. David. My niece, Katie Robinson, plays for them, but is out with a torn ACL and a timeout on the floor charged to Anawan. We'll take a break as well. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll be right back after this on TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. Well, I've always had an interest in the medical field, and then growing up, I actually went through physical therapy myself for an injury, and that got me back to playing my sports and the activities that I loved. So seeing that firsthand, I got to see how much physical therapy could really benefit others. Welcome back to Abingdon Avon High School here for the game number two of the sectional IHSA girls. Winner of this game will play Brown County Thursday here at Abingdon High School. As Anawan Ooh. got trucked by Josie Hughes. Yes, she did. Josie didn't mean to, but she's going to pick up her second foul. Number four. Bonnet. Number three. We'll check in and she's got a message from my Nana that she can't get the live chat to work, but she's listening from Sunset Beach, North Carolina. They have Sunset Beach in North Carolina. They do. There's a shot off by Goodley, rebounded by Wickman, and back the other way it comes. Wickman puts the hair up in a bun. Jumper is no good by Hodgins. Hodgson. Here comes Seely with it, or Seelis. Kaylee Seelis. Set it back up. Swinging left wing to Seelis. Guarded by Hodgson. Back up Clarabella, back to Seelis. Swinging out, three ball for number three. Manuel is no good. The call jump, a jump ball. ball. Give possession to Havana. Taryn Wickman will bring the ball up. 148 remaining in the first quarter. 11-4 is your score. Shot no good. Sarn a little short. Everybody's been short tonight, if you notice. Yeah, that? it has been a little, little short. Wickman finds Hodgson. Picks up her dribble. He's going to kick it back out to Sarns. Dribble drive. Miller shot up no good. Rebound to Silas. Miller got tripped there and almost had to throw that shot up to keep from traveling. Goodly, a pull-up three in transition. Nice shot from Goodley there. Gets him within four. 11-7, minute 11 to go, first quarter. And a steal by Goodley. Silas puts up the shot, but is blocked by Wickman. Number check. 11, Abigail Cowell will check in. And is number 12 for Anawan. Kennedy Rico. Clarabella will take a seat. Manuel. Silas kicks it to Goodley. 
Three ball in and out. Rebound of the Ducks. Wickman swings Ooh. it across, and oh my. Manuel, hard into the coaches there in a the bench. Probably lucky it was her own coaches. Absolutely. Was, say that was maybe the assistant coach, Chris Goodley. Had Manuel take a big hit there, but she's she's up and fine. So, Oh, what a cut without the basketball by Miller. Miller had that shot and had it the whole way. Here comes Anawan. Goodly. She is a freshman. You might have heard the Havana Ducks cheering on the far side. Shot up, no good, but a foul on the floor. No, that's going to be the shoot shot. Two. On the shot, excuse me, did not mean to say on the floor. It's going to go on Cowell. Fouls on Sarns, number 32. Never mind. That's Her first. Right. Team's fourth. 13 7. Ducks by six. 24.4 to go, first quarter. First shot is good. For Zoe Vance. Goodley takes a seat. Wise checks back in for her, is that right? Correct. Kennedy Rico in the game. Vance, second shot is good. She goes two for two at the free throw line, cuts the lead to four. Here comes Miller and the Ducks. Miller's got two on her, picks up her dribble, loses it, ball on the floor. It's Anawan basketball. It's in the hands of Silas. It's going to slow it down. Clarabella, that deep three, missed it. Rebound to Vance. Kick it now back out, Clarabella, and no shot as time expires in the first quarter. The first quarter score, the Havana Ducks 13, and the Anawan Bravettes 9. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential, with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. Welcome back to Abingdon Avon High School here. Tonight's second game of the sectional of the girls' variety. Havana is a early four-point lead on the Anawan Bravettes. So we begin second quarter action here from a town home of the Tornadoes. Ducks have had control of this game for the first eight minutes, so we'll see how Anawan will respond. They'll get the ball to start the second quarter. And it'll be Clarabella to inbound the ball to Goodley. Goodley in the bright pink shoes. She's looking for a cutting Clarabella. Now he's got to find help. You have to kind of feel like Clarabella Van Vanadorf is uh, – she shoots enough that she must feel like she's a good shooter. I don't know a lot about Anawan, but – and another foul is going to be called, I believe, on Bonnet this time. Yep. And Her first, team's fifth. Checking in is Seelis. Taking a seat for the Kennedy Rico for the Bravettes. 7.40 to go in the first half. Clarabella thought about the dribble drive. Now going to kick it back out to Goodley. And a ball tipped out of bounds by Sarns. Sarns. Oh, it's tipped off the hand. A Seelis over there? Yeah, so it'll be Havana basketball. Turn Wickman inbounds the ball to Miller. Miller gets it to Wickman, ball on the floor, and it's a full head of steam for Anawan. And Goodley got Goodley. too far underneath the basket and a jump ball. Yep. Was running a little fast, outran the pass, and didn't have much of a shot there. One million Cubs project. I might know that guy. Says go Anawan. Bo, is that you up there, buddy? It's good to have you joining us. Nick Crowey says let's go Ducks. There's Miller, another shot down low. She's got six points. Miller's done a great job running point for Havana and has shown it here early. 
James Reynolds watching and rooting for the Ducks from Kentucky. Uncle Jim. And another jump ball called. This time it's going to stay with Anawan. 6.52 to go. Cowell will check back in, as does number three, Elena Manuel. Same as Manuel, so it's Manuel. Okay, we're going to go Manuel. Uh, just Amber Morin, Morind. If you're, if I'm right on that, Manuel is how you say it. So right. we'll go with that. I apologize. Oh, getting into the pass lane was Miller. Couldn't get there. Goodley puts up a shot. No good. Wickman with the rebound. Ball out of bounds. It'll be Havana basketball. Manual. Manual. So that's uh, Melissa. Timeless. Timeless is renewed for the Ducks from New Zealand. Are you really from New Zealand? Down low it goes. Bucket up and in for Abigail Cowell. So just checking in, just gets her. Fair share of points. Ball tipped by Cowell. Now Wickman is going to get called for the foul there. Got a little too handsy there. Wickman's going to pick up her first foul. Team six, so Anawan will be in a bonus the rest of the way. Got six fouls or six to two on the fouls. So has definitely been Havana seeing more whistles from the men of the black and white. Tori Wickman says go Ducks from Jacksonville, Illinois. Goodly, kick it out. Clara Bella wants a deep three, missed it. Offensive board. Goodly wants three, missed it. Rebound to Taryn Wickman. Wickman, full head of steam, has got a couple defenders in front of her and misses the shot. Ball up. Going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow. Katie Miller down there with the tie up. She tied up. Elena Manuel. It's 5.52 to go in the first half, 17 to 9 the score. Wickman goes to Cowell, who gets it blocked by Goodley. Colin Swifel says Bella is more like Baller. She's Clara Baller? Might be her new nickname. 5.40 remaining in the first half. Silas working with Wickman on the left wing. Pulls up, shot no good. Rebound, and it looks like it was off of off of Anawan. Must have been off of Wise down there. A couple subs coming in. Bonnet checking back in. Miller's going to take a seat. They should give her a big round of applause. She's played very well off the bench for the Ducks. And full court pressure now from Anawan. 17-9, 5.20 to go here in the second quarter. Sarns gets it tipped away by... Clara Bella, good defense all over that pass. We do love having the live chat active and open, so hop in there, tell us where you're watching from, who you're cheering for, and if, oh, Bonnet's wide open underneath the basket on the inbounds and gets the bucket to fall. Give her four points. Goodly with it. He's going to swing it to the outside. Now they go Silas. Silas swing it to Clara Bella across court. Call foul. On the floor. Sarns, maybe? Yep, I believe Sarns is going to pick that one up. It will be on Sarns. Her second. Team seventh. One bonus coming for Clarabella Vanadorf. Is that what you wrote down here? I can't really read your writing. <laughs> Blame it on my – yeah, well, I had to go into the fouls. The yeah, it, it, you got me all discombobulated. <laughs> Her name's too long. I didn't leave you enough room to write on my stat sheet, did I? I got big handwriting. You know that. One and Probably bonus not. off no good. Let's stay with Anawan. Katie Miller back in the game and went off of her out of bounds. 4.57 to go in the first half. It's a 10-point game. Doesn't mean a whole lot, does it, John, because we saw the uh, Trojans up by 12 in the second quarter. Yep, and that, that lead diminished into the second half, and Brown County was able to walk away with a 12-point victory. Oh, nice look. Number two, Silas on the open shot there. She gets the bucket. It's 19-11, eight-point game. First points of the quarter, though, for the Bravettes. Bonnet. Can't shot. get it to fall. Yep, no good, and it'll be in the hands of Vance. Kicks it up to Manual. Manual. 
Ball tipped by Bonnet. Bonnet. 4.23 remaining. Taryn Wickman will check back into the ball game. Josie Hughes will take a seat. And a one on the attack. Kennedy Rico swing it to the outside in the corner. Wickman, good defense, saved it, but back to Anawan. Clarabella puts up the shot. It's good. Clarabella with a nice shot. Able to get that one to fall. Six-point game. Four minutes to go. We got a foul. Van Opdorp. Van Opdorp. Melissa, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Van Opdorp. Taryn Wickman will inbound the ball for the Ducks. Go up to Miller. Miller swing it in the corner. Now they go inside. Ball stripped away on the floor. It's Anna Juan basketball coming away with it. Wickman again from behind, trailing the play, gets the steal. That's yeah, just a pass yeah. you can't really make there if you're Wickman. They had a whole bunch of Bravettes down the, down the court. A whole lot of maroon between the white that you were looking for, that's for sure. Manuel on the attack, puts a shot up, is number 20. Wise. Wise, shot is no good, rebound to the Ducks. Wickman will slow it down here, about three minutes to go. First half. His inside was looking for Bonnet. Bonnet's going to pick up her second foul. Team's eighth. One and bonus coming at the other end for the Bravettes. Thirty-second timeout. Charge to Havana. I want to say, <laughs> Timeless is traveling the world as we speak. Don Phelps watching says, "Go Ducks." Erica Anderson says, go Anawan from Cash In. Anawan, I don't know if that's Cash In the business or can't Cash say Indiana. I've, can't say I've been to Anawan. I, I can't either. Well, it's in Anawan, though, so I'm yeah. going to go Cash. Ellie Bonnet, go Ducks from Kansas City, Missouri. She's got people watching from all over. Thanks for joining us tonight. 3.06 to go. 19 to 13 is the score. I believe the scoreboard is right. Sometimes the scoreboard doesn't. We push the button and it doesn't update. And unless we catch it to push it, yep. push it again, it sneaks up on us. So we do appreciate if you see it staying behind for a little while. Don't hesitate to hop in there and tell us to check the scoreboard. So thank you, Brandon Shaw. First free throw is good for Wise. She'll get the bonus. Five point game, three minutes to go. Second shot is in and out. For Wise, it's Taryn Wickman on the rebound. Bring it up, Bonnet into Miller. Ball out back to Wickman. Inside to Miller, now they go Cowell. Wickman wants three from up top and nails it. Taryn Wickman's got three. I believe it, that's her first three points of the night. So it is. Comes with about 10 minutes, or excuse me, 14 minutes in the ball game. Went off of Wickman out of bounds. She wanted a touch, much like Katie Flynn was trying to work with the officials. Abby Oney got this Ducks, bring home another win. Shot up by Silas, no good. Wickman on the rebound. Here comes Bonnet, who fakes, puts up the shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts up that shot, no good. Silas on the rebound. Ball tipped on the floor. And it's Miller to bring it, to come away with it. It's Wickman now. Cowell goes to Miller, going to be a foul. That's going to go on Silas. Silas' first foul, I do believe. It is. <laughs> oh, Brandon, I apologize. I understand what you're saying now. You were saying scoreboard, Ducks are winning. I thought, I thought it was wrong. Very well could have been wrong at the point. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Let's go Bravettes. Bree and Andre Mallory. Wickman another put back off. No good. 
Padner stats, and finally he's going to draw a foul. <laughs> Three offensive rebounds for Wickman, and now she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two here. And the foul is going to be on Clarabella Van Opdorp. Her first. Team's third, fifth, excuse me. Wickman, first shot, no good off the back iron. Checking in number one for Havana. That's Olivia Kramer, freshman guard. Wickman makes the second one. 23-14, Ducks by nine. Manuel, the outside, now dribble drive. And we've got Goodly on the drive and a foul on Miller. Yep. Her second, team's ninth. One and bonus coming for Goodley. Minute 54 to go, second quarter. First shot is good for Goodley. Bonnet will check in for Miller. See if Goodley can make the second. The second shot is good for Goodley. She goes two for two from the free throw line. Cuts the lead to seven, or cuts the deficit to seven. Bonnet's got a wide open floor. She's cut the coverage and lays it up and in. The Ducks add two more, 25-16. Seelis with it. On the right wing, now dribbles up top. Hands to Goodley. Slow it down here. 130 remaining in the first half. Rico puts up a shot, it's no good. Rebound to Bonnet. Brings it in, give it to Wickman. 25, 16 minutes, 20 to go. Second quarter. From Abingdon Avon High School, ball is tipped out, but back to Wickman, so she gets her, gets the ball right back. Hodgson, Olivia Kramer in the game, over there for the Ducks. Freshman, so getting some minutes here in a sectional game is definitely big. Lay it up and in for Bonnet. Great pass by Wickman. Fifty-one seconds remaining in the first half. Eleven-point lead for Havana. Manuel kicks it to Silas. Go back to Manuel. Once three, matches the number on her back, doesn't get it. Rebound to Taryn Wickman. Very slowly ringing it across half court. And now get box balls loose, but she'll get it back. Wickman swinging across to Cowell. Now they go corner to Bonnet. Bonnet swing it back up Wickman. Now they go to the Freshman and Kramer. Corner to Hodgson, inside to Wickman on the shot. Lays it up, lays it in. Taryn Wickman adds two more. She's got eight, 29, 16, five seconds. Goodley wants to put up the shot. No good. And the score at half, the Havana Ducks lead 29-16 over the Anawan Bravettes. We'll go ahead and step away. Be back with some stats in just a minute. You're listening to CSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. I went through MDH when we were trying to get pregnant. We were struggling the first year, and then when we got pregnant, I stayed at MDH and through labor and now for pediatrics. My experience was nothing short of phenomenal. I met, was met with amazing staff members who helped me through concerns that I had when she was first born, helping me learn how to be a new mom. It was really reassuring and comforting knowing that I had so much support and kindness around me. My entire pregnancy at MDH was amazing. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential, with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. Welcome back to Abingdon Avon High School here in Abingdon, Illinois for halftime of the second game of sectionals here tonight of the girls. 
It is the Havana Ducks who lead the Anawan Bravettes 29-16. Dwayne with some halftime stats. For Anawan, the Bravettes. Team high five points for Olivia Gooding. Goodly, excuse me. She's got five points on one three and two of two from the free throw line. Zoe Vance has two points, two of two from the free throw line. Jaden Wise has three points. She's one of two from the free throw line. Kaylee Silas, Silas, has, Silas has four points. And Clarabella Van Opdorp has two points. So they are five of six from the charity stripe in the first half. For the Havana Ducks, leading the way with eight points, Jennifer Bonnett. She's got three two-point baskets and is two of two from the free throw line. Josie Hughes has three points, one of two from the free throw line. Taryn Wickman, all six of her points are in the second quarter. She's one of two from the free throw line. Abigail Cowell has two points. Katie Miller off the bench has six points. Two points for Anna Hannah Hodgson and two points for Jalen Sarns. The Ducks are four of six from the charity stripe in the first half. Nobody has three fouls. I didn't miss Wise's. I didn't miss Wise's foul earlier. I'll get that on there. They only had three fouls in the first half. Did the Bravettes, I believe. The scoreboard had six, but I've only got three of them marked, so we'll have to see where that uh, falls at there. But at any rate, nobody with more than two. Jennifer Bonnett has two. Josie Hughes has two. Katie Miller has two. And Jalen Sarns has two for the Ducks. I want to say hi to Carrie Fields, says keep it up, Ducks. And Kylan Brent says go, Ducks, from St. Charles, Missouri. So got people watching from all over, including Timeless, who seems to be traveling the globe <laughs> throughout this uh, Hong Kong first to half. New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand to Hong Kong, and we'll see where he lands next. <laughs> we don't know. We'll take a break. We'll play a word from our title sponsor, McDonough District Hospital. We'll be back from Abington Avon High School for the second half in just a few moments. All right, welcome back here. I'm with Dr. Ed Card from MDH. And, Dr. Card, you're a face that a lot of people throughout Macomb, I've worked in Macomb in media for a long time, so I've heard your name, seen advertisements with your name and picture in it for, we're not going to talk about how long, but it's been a while, okay? You're quote-unquote retiring, sort of, but you're the chief True. medical officer still. True. I am no longer doing surgery. I'm no longer doing clinical medicine. Uh, I have two uh, very good uh, partners coming in who are going to be taking over the clinical side of things. Um, and I want to be f there for them to help them with the transition into private practice and, and uh, so just provide some support. Uh, they don't need a whole lot of support, but um, it, it, for what they do need, I want to be there. Uh, and then... I'm transitioning into full-time uh, administrative position as the chief medical officer, uh, which uh, puts me in charge of the quality program, the patient safety program, uh, and um, the med staff office, as well as utilization management. And those are all areas that we've been working on in the past. Uh, and I've been chief medical officer for two years, but now I can devote a lot more time, a lot more energy to uh, improving those programs and by extension then improving uh, the quality and safety of care at our hospital. I feel like that seeing you as many years as you put in at MDH and being willing and able to stick around after you're mm -hmm. done doing surgery, you're done doing your clinical hours, you're willing to stay here. To me, that must mean that you feel like MDH is on the right track and doing things the way you want it to be done, right? I thoroughly believe that. I think we're in a better place now, uh, uh, clinically, administratively, uh, and uh, you know, with the new um, surgeons, I, I think we're in a better place than we've been in uh, in all the time that I've been here. And while we've tried not to mention it, it's only been 38 years. <laughs> uh, so you've got a few, you have a few things up your sleeve that you can the new guys and girls and whoever might come after you while you're still here you've got a few tricks you can probably teach them right? uh you pick up a couple of things <laughs> in in that long period of time of, of doing surgery uh and when i started i did a lot of uh, vascular surgery but most of that now is done by cardiology and radiology so that has sort of faded but 
uh, we're doing a lot more laparoscopic uh, uh, things. Uh, Dr. Peck is actually trained um, in laparoscopy, took a fellowship. Um, Dr. White is very, very good. And I think the two of them together, uh, both women, but I think that they're going to be incredible. I really think they're going to be very, very good. And um, the strengths of one uh, balance off uh, the other areas for the other. It's, it's really a very nice uh, synergistic um, pairing of those two who are both very, very good. And I would imagine that your license obviously is still going to be valid. So if it gets into a pinch and they call Dr. Card and say, hey, we need something right now, you're probably still here and able to do that? I, I've been known to answer that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm still around uh, and available if there are questions or problems or uh, uh, things, you know, people need an extra pair of hands in the operating room or run into something they haven't seen before. I'm still going to be around for that uh, uh, and, uh, in fact, uh, helped uh, with an operation this morning. So um, I, I think that's going to be a nice uh, transition uh, for me because I don't have to just stop being in the operating room uh, and hopefully helpful for um, Dr. Peck and Dr. White as well. I would imagine after 38 years just stopping something would be like stopping cigarettes, right? It would be really hard to do. Oh, no. No? Oh. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> not being on call is pretty okay. I'm, I'm enjoying that. So uh, that is not a difficult uh, transition at all. Um, you know, I've been, came to town when I was 29 years old uh, and have been doing surgery here all that time. Um, and you sort of go through phases. There's the scared phase uh, when you're first starting. Then there's the... I can't believe how exciting and fun this is. And I've moved into the third phase, which is the, this really is work. <laughs> so um, I, I think it's, it's, uh, it's time for me to move to other things uh, and uh, certainly uh, not uh, compete for patients with uh, our two new surgeons. Well, I can speak for most of the people, I think, in, in Macomb and McDonough County. We're happy you're still around. Thank you for everything you've done through the years. I think that you've probably become a Macomi homie after spending over half your life here anyway, right? Pretty close. I still can't trace back people's ancestry three generations like everybody else in town can. So I'm not a true Macomite yet. Uh, but, but, you know, I, the other side of that is that the community has been incredibly kind uh, to me through the course of my career uh, in trusting me with... Uh, there. And we're back here. Is uh, starting a little early. They took a minute off the clock on us. Sorry about that, folks. You're watching TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. Third quarter action just underway. Got a lot of people watching and cheering in the live chat, and it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bravettes who are going left to right on your TV or phone screen now, whatever you might be watching. I used to stay on a radio dial and make <laughs> Jeff Mortar so mad. He said, they don't have dials anymore. That's how old I am. A new day we live in. Yeah. Mr. Hewlett. Wickman on the attack. She's going to swing it out to Hughes, who wants three in the corner and missed it. Rebound to the Bravettes. It's in Silas bringing that one in. Manuel, swing it to Goodley now. Corner to Silas. Back up Clarabella, dribble drive. Ran into a duck wall there. Shot up, no good by... Manual, but the second chance point for Wise. Yep, Wise is good. 29 18, seven minutes to go. Third quarter, Hughes on the cut. Oh. Finds a nice pass. Just couldn't finish his bonnet. Hodgson's got the rebound and couldn't finish as well. Sealess with a bit of a size advantage down low. It's a long two for Clarabella. Shot no good. Rebound to Bonnet. Or Bonnet, excuse me. Wise, uh, I don't think, was real happy with that rebound right there. Taryn Wickman will bring it up. That's a great pass to oh, that's a travel. Sarns. Well, yeah, that's why it made it such a great pass. Hughes gets the bucket. 31-18, 6.30 to go. Say hi to Melody Lynn, watching from Easton. Watching her niece, Jen Bonnet. Justin Ford says, go Anawan. Georgia says the young kids are really good announced. You got a fan, John. 
I do, I guess. I, mean, I sound like an old man, so I know they're not talking <laughs> about me. Oh, nice pass, but it couldn't get it to Wise across the lane. Georgia. Is that the state or a person, you think? Maybe maybe the whole state Ooh. of Georgia likes you. Now, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Maybe get it? a job with the Braves. There you go. Now it's my favorite sport. Vince Scully. <laughs> Vince Scully. He's Harry great. Carey. Great also. Favorite Brent team. Brent Musburger. Love Harry Carey. Voice of my favorite baseball team, Chicago Cubs. I'm sorry. Sarns <laughs> for two. Shots good. 15-point lead, 5.50 to go here. Third quarter from Ebony and Avon High School. Hey, you know, he was the voice of the Cardinals in the day. He back was. In the day he too, was. So. We kind of look past those, though, don't we? Us <laughs> right. Cub fans. Alan Monroe watching for Fort Myers, Florida, cheering on Jen Bonnet as well. She's got a lot of fans from all over the place. Yes, she does, and she's earned it respectively. She's played really good tonight. Hodgson checks back in. 5.36 to go here in quarter number three. Again, sure. two players not playing tonight that normally would be playing a lot for the – oh, and Clarabella wide open and missed the three. Wise had it stripped away. But I was going to say a couple players, Robinson and Clear, missing with ACL injuries. Hughes on a great pass from Wickman. They both pointed at each other from across the court. That was just a great pass from Wickman, able to orchestrate the offense. Clarabella kicks it back out, wanted manual, but – Ball is out of bounds. Nope, saved in. I guess. To Look, the duck. Looks like she was about out of bounds. Wickman stops at the free throw line. 5.03 remaining in the third quarter. Sarns with it. She's got two Bravettes on her. And go back out to Hodgson. I don't know who that was to, either Miller or Sarns. Sarns takes it, goes to a cutting Josie Hughes, who lays up a shot no good. Second chance shot is no good, but two shots coming for Josie Hughes. Josie Hughes is the smallest player on the floor right now, folks. And, and she two times has found her way to great looks in the post for the Ducks. And there you see her on the screen, Tegan Perry. Zooming in on her. She's got a couple free throws coming. But I'll tell you what, she has been rocking it down low, and she makes the first one. Yeah, I mean, like you said, Josie Hughes, she just – does not have the size advantage that maybe a Taryn Wickman does or or a, a Jaden Wise in, for either team, and she's still finding a way to cut it down low. Hughes hits them both. 30, she's got six points in the quarter. 37-18, we've got a timeout on the floor. I believe that is going to be charged to the Havana Ducks. No, maybe not. That's going to be charged full timeout to the Anawan Bravettes. Their second timeout. We'll keep it here and tell you this game being brought to you by Sports Corner at 124, Macomb's original local sports bar, Sports Corner at 124, with a focus on local sports. Catch WIU games and all the area TSSR game time live broadcasts at Sports Corner at 124, all while enjoying your favorite cold drink, some of the best food in West Central Illinois. Stop in and say hi at 124 North Randolph Street in Macomb. Look at the student section over on the far side, a Dan Marino jersey. Yeah, over there. I saw that earlier. I was like, oh. A 19 point lead for that team's, or that cheering section's favorite team. Looks like it's jersey night over there, I'd have to guess. See Kofi Coburn jersey for Illinois. Amber Nieder, I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah. Watching from her hometown, Havana, says, Go Ducks. Josie's a rock star, and she's getting a lot of pub here, and she deserves every minute of it right now. Anawan trying to respond here. 4.35 to go, third quarter. It's Silas on the attack, lays it up. Shot no good, and who else but Taryn Wickman on the offensive or on the defensive glass there. And, it, and this thing has really just blown up all of a sudden, hasn't it? It was, it, it was down to 10 or 9, and it's just kind of opened up. And that's going to go off of the Brave Ed. It's a great job by Josie Hughes doing it all. Threw it off of a Brave Ed out of bounds, and he'll stay with the Ducks. Taryn Wickman. Falling down there, and she'll She's, go ahead and take a seat. Yeah, her, her second break of the game, I think, if I, I remember believe right. you are correct. It'll probably be about 30 seconds, I'm guessing. Jennifer Bonnet, she right side in. Hughes. Jump ball. Possession arrow is going to favor the Ducks. The Ducks. 4-12 remaining. Vance, who's played pretty well for Anawan, is back in the game. She's really been a difference maker when she's been in the game. I, I 
100% agree, agree with you, Dwayne. You know, Vance has, and I, has made a couple free throws as well. Josie Hughes for three, no good, but Bonnet on the rebound, Bonnet on the rebound, excuse me on that. She's going to lay it up. Shot no good. Second chance point also no good, but Miller brings it in for Havana. Josie Hughes and Miller were just a little bit opposite, opposite page there. Definitely. Amber, you are you are welcome. I'm glad I got it right. I've announced for many years, so it's I've learned that names, whatever you learn in English class, you could pretty much throw out the window <laughs> with names. But I was gonna say I saw neater. the comment and I was like, I'm gonna let you take that one. Yeah, it's uh, I have a friend named Weed Holder, which is spelled almost exactly the same, but it's it's I E instead of E I, just like that jump ball is gonna stay with Anawan. Three forty to go here in the third quarter. Hughes checking back in. Miller will take a seat. For She's played a great game as well here. Yes, she has. First 20-ish minutes. 22 minutes. Rico on the dribble for the Bravettes. And Terry. Wickman. Yeah. She's, she's not down <laughs> rebounding. She's just knocking the ball away outside, right? Yeah, she got a, probably her entire palm of her hand on that ball. Ball. Change direction real fast. <laughs> Amber says, dang Germans. I just repeated what she said, folks. She is German. <laughs> she can say that. <laughs> I don't think I have any German in me. I do, actually. I got a lot a, of Swedish in mine. And a foul down low. I'm going to be on Sarns, I believe. It is on Sarns. It'll be her third. Team's first of the second half. Yeah, only one foul, respectively, for both squads here in the second half. So it's been a kind of a foulless game, which wasn't really the idea of the first half, so definitely changed. Well, I really would have liked to see Vance take that up over Sarns. With Sarns with three fouls, while you get the ball in the post, there's a nice drive. Can't oh. finish, though. Yep, just couldn't get the roll of the basketball. Taryn Wickman on the rebound. Bonnet. She faked the throw off of a player. Did you just notice that? She yeah. Sarns loses the ball, and it's going to be picked up. Goodley back the other way. Shot is no good as Goodley hits the deck. Wickman's got it. 2.40 to go here, third quarter. A-Town High School, home of the Tornadoes. That's going to be long two, no good from Sarns. And a jump ball. Boy, well, that's going to stay with Havana. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that was much of a tie up there, but. No, I kind of thought that. Uh, I believe Vance that was had Va it. Yeah, Vance brought that one down, and I thought she was just kind of left alone with it up there, but. It'll stay Havana, so definitely not in Anawan's favor there. Colleen Boggs, thanks for joining us tonight. Andy Brown says go Ducks from Springfield. Hughes thought about three. She's got two on her. Swing it to Cowell. Inside to Wickman's got three. Brave, that's on her. Doesn't matter, though. She finds her way to the basket. She's got eight. 39-18, two minutes to go. 2.10 to go. And here come the Bravettes. Clarabella puts up the shot, no good. Rebound to Bonnet. I want to say earlier, Cash Anderson, when they were talking about Cash from Anawan, Cash was their son. So we apologize for not following you on that one. Wickman for three. Good. Taryn Wickman has reached double digits. She's got 11 and a 20. Four point lead. You know, for you going to be, for you going to be a <laughs> going a, to college, <laughs> an accountant. I, I would hope you could do that math a little quicker than that. <laughs> Forty-two <laughs> minus eighteen. That was took me too long. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anna Juan with it. It's Clarabella. Loses her dribble. It's Bonnet bringing it in. And Josie Hughes coming away with it. She'll bring it up the timeline across half court for Havana. Tyler Clear is watching in Bloomington also. I don't think I said that yet, do they? Nope. Double. And a double yeah. dribble. That's the first thing Hughes has done bad in the second half, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. She's. I don't think we've. We Sarns saw. and Miller checking in. Bonnet and Hodgson taking a seat. 106 to go in the third quarter. Remind me to tell you the story about Dave Taylor and math. And Sarns <laughs> comes right in and picks up her fourth foul. Team foul number two of the second half. She's got them both. And but, yeah, quick, re quick remind so. me to tell you about that off air. 
All right, I'll have to ask because I will probably forget. So I'm going to write it down. <clears throat> One minute remaining here in quarter number three. It's a 24-point lead. We did the math a few minutes ago. Strugg <laughs> Struggled to do it, yeah. but we got it done. <laughs> it gets above 20, and it's hard. You don't yeah, have enough fingers and toes. Like, God, can't count. <laughs> Vance with it. Manual swinging out to Vance. That might be a long two. Yeah, he had his two fingers yep. down. Doesn't matter. Shot no good. It's in the hands of, yes, Taryn Wickman. Yeah, Miller got the rebound, though, if that's any consolation. Boy, that probably could have been a foul. Yeah. Josie Hughes. We said that the, they haven't called as many fouls. It's been cleaner. I don't know that it's been any cleaner. <laughs> Wickman for three. It's short. I think they just aren't calling as many. No. Nope. Allison Showalter watching as well. 42-18, 10 seconds here. It's Vance with it at the top of the key. He's working with Cowell. Now he's going to swing it right wing to Clarabella and loses her dribble. Boy, that, that clock ran a long time Yeah, it did go a little, little farther than. Uh, That's, that looked like when I'm running a clock, I'm like, I think I could just <laughs> let that go, right? Well, okay, maybe I can. <laughs> it went a, I'd say a couple extra seconds. Not in Havana's favor at all. They're up uh, by I think it 24. Was <laughs> still. Wickman. Oh, no way. No, it was short. A little short for Taryn Wickman, but <laughs> she laughs as she heads off the court. 42-18 is your third quarter score here from Abingdon Avon High School. The Ducks have the lead. S well. Sydney Linders watching from Columbia, Missouri. A lot of Ducks fans watching. Yeah. If you're watching and cheering for Anawan, I know you're down a little bit here, but you're getting that live chat, liven things up a little bit. Maybe you can help the team. Uh, Liven? <laughs> Liven things up. Liven is a word, I think. I say it all the time. If it isn't, I just made it. If it's, not say a word. it's your word now. Right? It's my word. That's right. We're going to keep it. We're going to use it. At least I can count to 24. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to live that one down. <laughs> no, no, no. It's that kind of game, folks. That's kind of what happens when uh, games get a little bit out of hand. You start looking for other things to talk about. But on a serious note, John, you can't talk – enough about how well Havana's playing without two of their quote-unquote yeah. better yeah. players. Yeah. You know, a starter and their six, per six man yeah. off the bench. Yeah, no. And, 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 and both with ACL injuries, and they're out here winning a sectional semifinal by 24 points. Yeah, and that's – we. I talked about that right at the beginning. You know, Havana, how are they going to play with, with two out with ACL injuries, which are definitely long timetables of return. Um so and, and they've come out and have definitely showed that their guys off the bench are able to, to step up. Hey, and Emmanuel comes in in the fourth quarter and gets one right off the bat. A little confidence booster there for the Anawan Bravettes. It's Bonnet with it, gets it to Wickman. Long two is good for Taryn Wickman. 44-20, up by 24 again. There's that magic number 24. 7.30 to go, fourth quarter. Vance. That was a lot easier math, though. Yeah, it was a zero. Vance is going to get a foul there. Her first, team's third. Checking in number 20, Jaden Wise, for the Bravettes, as well as Goodley. Team second, excuse me. I want to say hi to Kia. I think that's Kia. I might be saying it wrong. Quinlan. Or it's either. And she's watching from Springfield. Gage Stroop watching from Springfield. Ball on the floor. It's going to go to Bonnet, who throws it right off of Manuel. Nick Crowey says, let's go, Abby Cowell. Havana fans are everywhere. Amber, you are correct. Lola and Larry Cross says, love watching granddaughter Taryn. And the Ducks says a steal by the Bravettes. Three ball from Clarabella. Shot is no good. You, know, you have to feel like, and there's a throwaway. Miller was looking for Hodgson. You have to feel like that, you know, we haven't seen Anawan, mm -mm. but you have to feel like the way Clarabella shoots the three. She's going to be their probably their top dog shooter. Yeah, she usually timeout on the floor charged to the Ducks. Yep. 30-second timeout. Keep it here. Both teams have three timeouts remaining. Yeah, Carrie Fields says, especially when Katie, Kate R averages double digits every game, but these girls are continuing to do their thing. That's right. They are playing very well. There's no doubt about that. 
But Claire Bella, you know, you, you have to think. What is Van Opdorp? How, what grade is she? Clara Bella is a sophomore. Sophomore. So, so she's she's used to scoring. She likes to shoot. Yep. She's going to be here for a while, folks. And Anna Juan is liable to be back here again very soon as well. And Justin Ford, thank you. We appreciate that. Anna Peterson, and that right there <laughs> is the way to go. Go go both teams, Anna. That's the way to go watching from Kiwani. That's kind of where we're at. We don't really have a favorite. Yep. We don't cover these teams. and we do see Havana somewhat yep. regularly, Prairie but we Land don't cover them. He's playing against my home school, West Prairie, and Bushnell, among others. And foul. Manuel is going to be at the free throw line. Yeah. Team foul number three. It's going Bonnet. On it. No, it's nope. going to go on Wickman. Wickman, yep, Wickman so. picks up her second. Team's third. She's got 13 points tonight. 6.37 to go here, fourth quarter. First free throw shots in quite a while. Manual, Manual hits the yeah. first. That's her first points. Oh, it's not the third quarter anymore, is it? It is not. That's her. She actually scored early in the quarter. She's got the only points of the quarter. Misses the second. Taryn Wickman will bring it up. Gets to Miller. Miller puts up the shot. In and out. Pull up jumper from 10 feet for a freshman. A pretty good shot. Yeah. It wouldn't fall. And a travel is called on Manual. Turnover back to the... Ducks, 6.26 remaining. <laughs> Bailey High Highberger. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. I've been doing this a long time, and there's a foul called. We'll get the foul call here. Foul is going to be on Manuel. It'll be her second, team's fourth. Both teams are trying their hardest. That's all that they can do. Just love basketball. You're right, Anna. That's exactly, exactly right. <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> Timeless is in Indonesia now. Oh, Bonnet down low. And she's going to be hammered by Clarabella yep. Van Opdorp. That'll be her second, team's fifth. So let's get back to the story here. Dave Taylor. Brittany Sarns says Havana girls are an exciting group to watch, that's for sure. So here it is as Bonnet's hit and misses the first free throw. So – I've been doing this a long time, and we used to do games together. When I first started doing basketball, the first person I ever did games with was Dave Taylor, who was my driver's ed teacher in school. He ended up coaching basketball and teaching in Macomb. Driver's ed is Bonnet hits the second. And he was teaching in Macomb at the time that I was doing games for BPC. And they were <laughs> – BPC was – there's a shot made by Clarabella, Van Opdorp. And – I feel like I'm doing baseball on a pitch, and I stop and talk. Wickman for three, off no good. Bonnet gets the rebound and the put back. So, anyway, BPC was down by 17, and, and, and Taylor's like, they're down by 18. No, 16. And I, say, I looked at him, and I said, Dave, it's 17. There's a foul on Bonnet, her third, team's fourth. I said, they're down by 17, Dave. Bonnet, okay. Uh, and uh, as the free throw for Clarabella Van Opdorp is good. And I said, Dave, they're down by 17. That's the reason why you teach driver's ed and not math. Live on air. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me, and I don't think he talked the rest of the game. <coughs> He's never let me live that down, and now I just said it again, so I'm sure he'll hear about it. Sarns for two. She's got six. I'm sure that went over pretty well. <laughs> Tyler Clear, thank you. I appreciate the si the seamless <laughs> the seamless transition between story with and play the, by play. With the hand play. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be manual. Bonnet, I'll say Bonnet correctly the rest of the time, too. Sorry about that. There's a steal. I've been going Wickman. back and forth with Bonnet and Bonnet. The Havana folks are going to like this. There's Hughes for two off no good. Wickman puts the up, put back up and in. I, I, did a ba I did a football game with Jake Croxton one time in Lewiston, and we asked some people from Lewiston, is it Lewistown or Lewiston? Mm, and literally, like, half question. the people said ton and half the people said town. So for the entire game, as Manuel puts up the shot, 
Jake said town or ton, and I <laughs> said, said town, town. <laughs> the whole game. And that was another radio story for folks at home who don't really care. Lucas Miller's watching. Sarns for off no good. Hughes with the rebound and the putback. 53-25, 4.30 to go, fourth quarter. And we're two points away from a running clock. We are in a sectional game. You don't see that very often. Nope. Rico with it, three on the way. Off no good. And a foul is going to be called. Maybe on uh, Seeley, I believe, is going to pick that one. Oh, nope, it's Rico. Gonna... Who's the other one? It's team foul number six. Cowell will check in for Wickman. Actually, a few others as well. Yeah, when you're up by 28, you're going to see probably the bench clear now. Yep. Bonnet will check in. Kramer is in. Yep. Hughes and Sarns. Same five for Anna Juan. Ball thrown away by Hughes. <laughs> Bonnet was like, was that for me? Yep. It's a little <laughs> miscommunication there. 4.05 to go. Fourth quarter here. <laughs> Bryce Paisley says Lewistown. Lewistown. I'm I'm with I'm with the Lewiston crowd. I am too. That's what I've always said. Yep. Sophia Reevely watching from Bloomington. Are all these Bloomington folks going to ISU? There's a three on the way for Rico and a foul away from the basketball as well. It's going to stay with the Bravettes. Havana foul is going to be called on Hughes. It'll be her third, team's fifth. Miller going to check in here in a minute. Rico hit the triple. She'll check in for Bonnet. Who has played an outstanding game here tonight. 53-28. Tyler Clear, if you're from Lewistown, it's ton. If you're not, it's, it's town. town. <laughs> well, well, I'm not from yeah, Lewiston. I was going to say, I'm not either, and I still call it Lewiston. So. I actually heard a story one time that Lewiston, they did a vote to see whether it was town or ton, and it was literally like 50%. Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to be so split. Even the people there don't know how to say it. Clarabella puts up a <laughs> shot, and it's no good. I'm going to start getting hate mail from, from Lewiston. I'm not going to be doing just, any. We're just Lewiston we're just games. trying to have fun here, <laughs> folks. Three twenty-six to go. Fourth quarter is a foul. Should be one in bonus if there's a foul. Yep. Mate, well, I saw the foul. Well, they didn't call the foul. No foul on. No, never mind. Nobody. I, never mind. You know what, Tyler? Clear. I think you might. <laughs> I think you might be right, though. Yeah, I've heard that before. So. Foul, that's going to be called on, what? that's number 12, that's Rico. So she'll pick up the foul. That's Bryce Paisley is sure it's town. Ooh. Okay, Bryce, like, we're just going to oh, go there with we you. Go. Oh. <laughs> hey, Georgia, the whole state of Georgia be <laughs> giving me a ton. I'll take it, I'll take that. I think they just like you. That's I was just saying, I'm going to go. I'm gonna They're go just with saying that because you did. Uh -huh, yeah. 319 to go in the fourth quarter, 53-28. Yep, Uncle Jim looks like he must be tuning off. Ducks playing well. Good luck, Ducks. Abby says ton. That'd be a good question. Get everybody in listening. What are we doing here? Ton or ton. Havana should be shooting, <laughs> right? You'd think the seven fouls. Well, they said it's only six. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know. Here comes Havana with it. It's Miller. Swing it over to Kramer. Now they go corner for Sarns. Sarns is going to swing it across Cowell. Oh, to nice a, look. Yeah, a cutting. Good defense, though, too. Rico with the block. Maybe maybe it was number five, Sarns. Goodly swinging out to number five. It's a new name for me. It's Sarns. I Rico for three. Logan Clark says the bulk of Bloomington people are ISU students. Yep. What's well, good that they're still watching our alma mater. Hey, That's awesome. Look at that. We got a lot of Lewistons in there. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah, but if it goes back, wait a second. What did Tyler say? If you're from Lewistown, it's ton. Well, he, he, if that's the case, there's a lot of these people from Lewiston, Lewiston watching. Yep. wonder if they're rooting for the Ducks or rooting for Anna. Well, I'm going to guess they're rooting for Anna. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say that's probably the case. <laughs> I don't know, though. It could be wrong. Pretty close. Uh, probably. Logan Clark's watching from Chandlerville. Couldn't tell you where that is, actually. 
Kramer swinging over to Miller. Now Hughes inside to Sarns. Shot Miller, <laughs> Miller <laughs> oh, throws man. it up over her head wow. backwards and gets the bucket what to fall. A shot. When things are going your way, folks, they're just going your way. Miller I just threw it up and found I mean, the basket. I think she got fouled, too, but yeah, they didn't so, give her the foul. Yep. I don't know what the student uh, section is. The student section is cheering for what may be a foreign exchange student, I believe. A jump ball It's going to go to the Ducks. And checking into the game is going to be number 15, Frija D. Koenig. D. Koenig, number 15. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Freya, Freya D. Koenig. Tyler says he used to live, go to ah. Lewiston, and graduated from Havana. Hmm. Interesting. I'm still going Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Hughes with it on the dribble. 145 remaining. Oh, she dumps it over, trying to get DeConig a point. She goes back to the middle. With the basketball there was Lindsey Greer. We come back to Greer. Down in the corner, DeConig. DeConig with it. Double team, triple team. Fixing to be quadruple teamed, I think, there for a second. Yep. Timeout onto the floor. Charge to the Ducks, and all the all the players are coaching here. Somebody can, can somebody tell me if if uh, the iconic is a foreign exchange student or not? Not, I mean, I'm just going by the name and yep. the way the kids cheered. Because you generally, when kids a student section starts cheering, and Bushnell does the same thing when Francisco uh, Paco yep. yeah gets mm -hmm. get they want him in the game, you know. So yep, you know, it's the same kind of thing. I don't know if we've had a foreign exchange. She is a foreign exchange student from Amsterdam. Ooh, Amsterdam. Netherlands? Is that and right? Bryce Paisley says he is from, he's an L-Town grad and rooting for the Ducks because the Indian season's over. Yep, so. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Appreciate oh, that. Yeah, there we go. Getting a high school softball 34. Softball season just getting ready to start here pretty yeah, soon. We lose you in a day. Yeah, what, you do. Like three, Thursdays, three Thursday's my last yeah. last game. Sectional championship will be between, not speaking too soon here. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's pretty <laughs> The pretty Havana clear. Ducks and Brown the County Brown Hornets. County Hornets play a great game against Elmwood. So that game will be brought to you, TSSR Game Timeline, on Thursday. Hopefully you can all join us. We'd love to have you. Oh, putting up the shot was Greer. It's blocked. The Conig trying to get the the steal. Couldn't do it. We're down to 105 remaining. Wise with it. Rico looking down low. And just, Ball yeah, went across to Wise. And just found Wise. I don't think the pass was necessarily intended to her, but maybe it was. No, it wasn't. Yeah, snuck, snuck over <laughs> no, no, a couple no. heads. And it was definitely not <laughs> intended for her. She had the... Carrie, you're welcome. We greatly appreciate you guys watching. It wouldn't be nearly as much fun if we didn't have the people in the live chat talking back to us. Ab absolutely. Makes it so much more fun. Interaction is great. We greatly appreciate it, especially in a game like this. If it's a close game and we it, it, we tend to uh, Not maybe. Not see as much from yeah, the chat. Yeah. But when it's Greer for three and she hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsey Greer hits the triple. Lindsey Greer, the freshman guard. Seeing some minutes in a sectional game. She'll remember that one. Rest for life. 12 seconds left. Inside to Vance. She's dribble driving. Puts up a shot. No good. No foul. No whistle. Hughes tried to draw a charge there. And the official's like, there is no <laughs> way. There is no way I'm stopping this game with a 28-point lead with three seconds left. And that's going to do it. The final score, 58-30. Rematch of the Beardstown Lady mm. Tagger Classic third place game, Havana and Brown County. Should be a good one, Havana. Or, I mean, Brown County brings a little more height to the table. Margaret, but, definitely, but, and but uh, Flynn girls as well. Yeah, but I think it should be uh, should, yeah. should be a good, a good game to watch here as we finish things up. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with some stats. Here from Abington Avon High School, the sectional final is all set. It's the Brown County Hornets and the Havana Ducks Thursday night, 7 p.m. We watch it here on TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. We'll be back with some stats, as I said, in just a few minutes. 
at Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. After my appointment that day, I just made up my mind that I'm going to have my baby here in Macomb <laughs> and this hospital because irrespective of where you're from, who you are, it's just their line of duty to make sure they give care, make you comfortable. I told them about the staff of MDH, you know, they are, they are all good. And you will get all the support you need. This is just the best place for you and your family. I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. I learned that there's not a given in life. It takes a team. There's people that are going to watch out for us and make care. It's been pretty stressful. Once we saw Lori and got our plan, it's... Uh... Like a huge weight lifted. Welcome back to Abbott and Avon High School here. The final score, the Havana Ducks win 58-30 to over the Anawan Bravettes. Dwayne with some... Stats. Well, thank Alan Monroe for watching. I remember saying his name. Michelle Smith, thank you for watching. Amber Niederer. Yes, we'll be back. Make sure you tune in. We yes, appreciate it, thurs guys. Thursday night, 7 p.m., Brown County and Havana Ducks. We'll be right here to our game time live. Well, Tyler, we'll see you Thursday, too. Well, you know, figuratively speaking, of course. Of course. Great game, ladies. Melody Lynn. So here's the scoring. Nobody in double figures for Anawan. Team high six points for Clarabella Van Opdorp. She's two of two from the free throw line. Had six points. Four points for Kaylee Silas. Four points. Three points. I about didn't short her a point. Three points for Elena Manuel. One of two from the free throw line. Three points for Kennedy Rico. Hit a triple there in the fourth quarter. Jaden Wise had five points, one of two from the free throw line. Olivia Goodley had five points, two of two from the free throw line. And Zoe Fance had two points, two of two from the free throw line. Theme of the night, though neither team shot a bunch of free throws, eight of ten from the charity stripe for the Anawab Bravettes. Struggled a little bit from the field, but shot well from the free throw line. Three players in double figures for the Havana Ducks, including a game-high 15 points for Taryn Wickman. She was one of two from the charity stripe. 11 points apiece for Jennifer Bonnet and Josie Hughes. Both of them also, oddly enough, three of four from the free throw line. There you go. Three points for Lindsey Greer, who hit the last points of the game for the Ducks. Two points for Abigail Cowell. Eight points for Katie Miller, and six of those were in the first half. She played a very good first half. She was much quieter in the second half, but she played a very, very good first half, really kind of kept them in the game and got them, helped them build a little bit of a lead there in the first half. Two points for Hannah Hodgson, who scored the first bucket of the game for the Ducks. And then six points for Jalen Sarns, who led all people in the foul category, too, with four. Yep. So the Ducks, seven of ten from the charity strike. So as, as the two teams combined, 15 of 20. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's... Oh that's gosh, that's more math. That's well, legit. That would be 75% for anybody keeping score at home. That's it. That's that it. was it. That was it. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> when it becomes John Reynolds CPA, do not go to him. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> nope. mark, your, mark your words. <laughs> unless you have really big numbers that require calculators so he doesn't have to do it in his head. Yep, that's right. And I'm, I'm not it's there yet. It's an adding yet, machine so. that will tell me the <laughs> answers, right? Melody Lynn, thank you for the kind words. We do appreciate it. Well, that'll do it, folks. The Ducks and the Hornets going to face off on Thursday night. Game time is 7 p.m. We'll try to go on a little bit earlier, maybe 6.45. Right? Yeah. Let you guys know what's going on with the two teams. Talked about it's a third-place game from the Beardstown Lady Tiger Classic. Thanks, Nick, Nick Crowley, for that. 
Havana looks a little different, though. Missing a couple players, but, man, they look good tonight. They, yeah, and we talked about that before the game. Like, how is Savannah going to play? You know, you got two two main players out with ACL injuries, and, well, obviously it didn't, <laughs> didn't matter for Havana. They took things into their own hands and took care of Anawan pretty steadily. So that'll do it from Abington Avon High School for Tegan Perry, for our other camera girl that already jetted. Has disappeared. <laughs> for John Reynolds, I'm Dwayne Hewlett. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you Thursday night live from Abington Avon High School. We'll see who's going to go to the Super Sectional at Brown County. When is that? I didn't even. I don't even remember when the Super Sectional is. That's well, horrible. You got it somewhere. In there. I got it here. I just got to find it. Hold on a second, folks. I'll tell you when the Super <laughs> Sectional is. Uh, the Super Sectional is at Brown County on. Go back up here. Twenty seventh. The twenty seventh. Monday, the twenty seventh at seven. So when we start baseball practice, so. So you won't be there. I will not be there. Yeah. Well. John's a pitcher and a first baseman. And third baseman. Third baseman. A little bit everywhere. Oh. Anywhere that doesn't require, like, center field, short stuff. So any, anywhere that doesn't require running. <laughs> a lot of running, yeah. <laughs> doesn't That's require right. me to be fast or quick. That's I mean, right. Okay, i got to hit the ball in the I outfield gotta, if I want to get anywhere. So. I, I understand. <laughs> Once again, thanks for joining us tonight on TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. We'll see you Thursday. Bye.